good evening. I am very uh, strongly motivated tonight to, to share with you things that are going to there are things that are going to keep your family together we ask the almighty god to to bless tonight's gathering of god's people we have the holy spirit out his personality into us so that we can manifest him on the earth let me do something really really quick something really really quick welcome did i pray for daughter no you didn't where is she <laughs> she's here okay bring her forward bring her forward come on now bring her forward okay. anointing oil. spiritual authority because you are the mom okay. now I want you to stand behind her and put your two hands on her shoulder okay. and now let me release the blessing upon her okay. now in the name of the son of the living God I am going to pronounce a blessing over you that nobody can turn around nobody can play with and nobody can disturb Anyone who tried to disturb this blessing will pay a price for it with his or her life. This is serious. I don't throw my business, I don't throw my blessing around just like that. It costs me a lot to be where I am and to do what I do. It costs God a lot to have brought me a long way to do what I do. So here we go. Tell her to promise that what she gonna become through this prayer she will never mess with it. Tell her. Tell her not to mess with this prayer? Yeah, tell her not to mess with what this prayer is going to make to happen for her. Because what you are asking me to release into her life is what is going to happen to her. When she goes to the audition, they will accept her. And from there, the rest will be history. So tell her not to mess with the money and with the fame that are going to happen to her. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. Good. Yes. Tell her now. Let her promise. I want to hear it. Okay. Okay. Let me now release the blessing. Anybody who see your face will love you. I release fortune into your life i release favor into your life anybody who hears your name will desire to do good to you 
they will never refuse you any good thing you require. Any screenplay that they bring to you, you will be a master. I am releasing into you a master memory. <laughs> She goes for the audition. If there are 100 people that were invited and they are looking for one person, she alone will be chosen and 99 people will be sent home. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. yes. If there are 50 people who are asked to come for an audition or for something, if she appears, as far as she appears, 49 will be sent home, she will be chosen. Anywhere she goes from now on to apply for a job or for anything or to start her acting career, they will choose her first before they will choose any other person. I have spoken over your daughter this day and this is what her life is going to look like from now till the day that God called her home. I'm done my job. And heaven is my witness. Bye bye. Okay. If you have the time, you can join us at the uh, Top Leaders Conference. Oh, no, yeah. I was, I was just like, uh, I was just like practicing with her. Okay, I want to you to uh, hold your daughter uh -huh. and give her a hug. Give her a hug. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And give her a hug. And tell her congratulations. Okay. That's it. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Let's begin. You all know how important families are. Families are very, very important. There's somebody with the uh, internet phone. Could you mute it, please? Because tonight is um, very interactive. So people will need to talk with each other. Please mute your phone. You know who you are. You know who you are. Mute your phone. Thank you. When I ask a question and then you want to answer it, then you can unmute, you, unmute yourself and then you can tell us what you want to tell us and then mute it again because your phone is echoing. That's why. That's why. Tonight, last week, we talked about spiritual, spiritual leadership. Tonight, we are... We are, we are sharing on powerful family leadership. Most of our families are blessed families, but we don't know it. Most of our families are very broken. And there is nobody in the face of the earth in our family strong enough to give leadership until tonight that I'm going to talk to you. Please, I want you to take tonight's event very, very serious. What I'm talking to you tonight, we will come back to it later on in the future. Maria of Nebraska, are you there? Okay, she's not there. Okay, could you could you speak and uh, and tell everybody 
including those who do not know how to mute their phone, that if they are doing something right now, while they are listening, if they are at their job, if they are at home, and there is noise going on that they could mute their phone, will you tell everybody? Since you are the commander-in-chief of enforcing the law. <laughs> somebody yeah there's somebody who is either driving or you are around where there is a car and so on uh, mute your phone please because mostly the reason why i make my conferences to be interactive is so that we can gain from it nobody gain from me when i do all the talking good thank you <sighs> many of us have witnessed how bad families leadership has disturbed our marriages. Many kids could not be raised up properly because of bad family leadership. That is why I want to make sure that modern contemporary families will not just be blessed financially and materially, will not just be blessed supernaturally, but that they also will be blessed with supernatural leadership, with powerful family leadership. Any family that doesn't have a leader who knows how to rule and a ruler that knows how to lead, that family doesn't stand a chance in today's world. I do not know about your family. In my own family, I am the ruler. I am also the leader. I co-rule and I co-lead. In fact, my father appointed me to lead and to rule before he went back to God. So I do not take such a task easily. I do not know about you, but this is what the Holy Spirit has been telling me. Because of the so much brokenness in marriages, in families, too much divisions in families is unreal. The division is so big. There's hardly any family today that you do not have a family view. Somebody will arise within the family to cause so much chaos, so much problem. Either it's the father or it's the mother. I have been with, I have seen, I have experienced, I have counseled people who have been with women who are very wicked. I have ministered to women who have been with men whose wickedness is worse than the one of a serpent. Tonight is a very humble night for you to begin to look at your family and ask yourself this one question. In what way have I contributed to the downfall of
of my family? In, one, in what way have I contributed to the problem in my family? You can call yourself the white sheep of the family or the black or the purple or the red sheep of the family. But somewhere along the line, you need to ask yourself that question. In what way or what ways have I contributed to the malfunction or the dysfunctionalism in my family? You need to. Sometimes that question is very hard to be answered. The reason is there are some of us who are really very nice people, very good, excellent people, good character. And all of our life we've been working hard to try to bring the family together. There are always one or two people in the family who desire to tear the family apart. Why? Because they want to control they love power and they are greedy. There's a piece of land, enough for everybody. Everyone has two, two or three, three acres. But you will find one silly, hopeless, useless man or woman who will arise and want the entire thing for his own children and for herself. And then we'll go and marry one wicked man to protect her and to protect the land. At the end of the day, listen to me carefully, the outsider that is always brought into the marriage will be the one that will kill off everybody and take it over. Always the case. It's a very sober experience. Many of you come from failed marriages. I have been there not of my own doing. I have seen it when I was growing up. I have seen it in my 24 years of ministries. A lot of failed marriages caused by wicked women and wicked men. Some of the failed marriages as a result of outside hands, interests, imagination, thoughts, and advices. Especially interests. I've seen a woman who said to the man, thank you very much for bringing me to America. That's all I wanted. Thank you for bringing me. I've seen men who said to the woman, thank you for giving me my visa. And they hide all this under the name of love. And love has absolutely nothing to do with it. Tina Turner said, what has love got to do with it? Families are so broken. Parents have no time to teach children about sex. They have no time to teach children. And in fact, you will see some, some religious groups and states do not even want kids to be taught sex education. But those same kids that have been prevented by religion to learn anything about their bodies and physiology and how things work, when they go out there to their colleagues, they are going to learn a hard way they were going to watch something on the, on the internet. It's very, it's very heartbroken. Parents are so holy, they cannot talk about their own sexuality. A mom cannot even sit a daughter down to tell her about her menstrual cycle and what it means. She has to learn from other girls outside. so sad. Parents are so busy sometimes. Do I blame them? No. The culture of modern society, but the culture of modern society should not be so fast that you have no time to teach your girls. 
the advantage and disadvantages in most of this stuff we are talking about. If you do this, this will be the result of it. There is nothing like accident. Protect yourself from accident. Prevent accident. You cannot be a child and have children. That has been one of the biggest problems of today's world. Parents have the audacity to teach, the commandment to teach their kids the word of the living God. So as to prepare them for life. My parents prepared me for life. Today, I'm pouring that life to others. You owe your kid to sit them down if they will agree with you. To teach them how to use debit card, credit card, if that is necessary. Because in most times it's not. Use your debit card. What it means to stay stable in one job. I've seen people unable to stay on a job. Why? Because when they were growing up, nobody disciplined them. Nobody disciplined them. Like this woman that walked into a grocery store and everybody are standing on the line waiting for their turn. A long line. And she simply, they are, there, there's a man with a daughter, a young little daughter, five years old. And all that little kids on the line with their parents. And this woman simply, on the line simply, open, I mean, just pour out some bad fat on everybody. Boom! And everywhere is dunk with her fat. It's like she ate a dead frog. The whole place smells so foul. And when the man with the with the young girl confronted her, said, What did what did I do to be fat at? She cursed that at him. No training whatsoever. And then the man and then the man and the rest of the people on the line now turn on her. And call out all kind of foul names. And the whole, I mean, they have to call the cops. It was crazy. You know how it is in America when such thing happens. People, people want to watch the drama. <laughs> it was so tasty to watch, I'm telling you. So delicious. But terrible. He fat on everybody. No training whatsoever. going from one loan company to the other. I've seen parents, before their kids are 10 years old, they've already wrecked those kids' credit. They've wrecked it. And then that's a war you've already started. Because by the time that those kids want to use their name to do something, and their social security is already wrecked, and everybody began to deny that it, was, it wasn't them that did it. Families are so disorganized. One person want to be in charge of the little wealth that father and mother died and left behind. They want to fight in court. There's enough for everybody. But one person want to take it. We are dealing with cases today where you work so hard, you start to bring your family members from Africa, from the Hispanic countries, and so on, the Middle East, Asia, wherever, to Europe, to America. What happened? They turn, they turn against you quickly. The same people. From tonight, I am asked to ask you to do God a favor, to do yourself a favor and your family a favor. 
many of you who followed the ministry God has given to me need to know that God is conscripting you, God is recruiting you to something powerful tonight. Your uncles and nephews and cousins and aunties and fathers and mothers have failed you. You watch your daddy failed. You watch your mom failed. God is calling you to try something new. To try a new kind of leadership for your family members. Do you see and have you noticed that leading families in America today and wherever you are are united families who do not reveal their secrets to the public. The Clintons, the Bushes, the Kennedys, the Bill Gates, the Warren Buffets. Whether businesses or individuals, watch and see how strongly tied they are. Any family that is doing really well, go in and take a look. There is always one powerful entity, powerful family leadership whom everyone listened to. Everyone have given up their own powers to him and now are using their powers to help him or her to rule, to reign over them at a particular generation. And nobody is fighting over anything. And that person that has acquired such power is doing it on behalf of everybody and will never do anything without consulting everybody else. Go and find out how those who have made big money on the earth come from very strong family ties. If they did not come, they always create one. God is asking me to plead with you tonight to please take up powerful family leadership in your family. The reason is because those who've been running the affair in your family have failed you, and you know it. Your parent failed in marriage. Sometimes it was your aunt, it was your uncles who helped destroy your parents' marriages because of the interest of what they were getting. See, what I'm saying today is going to go a long way in the future. That is why, because I do not know what will happen to YouTube in the many years to come. At some point, we will stop making videos on YouTube. And we will start. We will start to put those videos somewhere else where they will remain for many generations to come. Because nobody knows where YouTube will be tomorrow. So we're going to need to archive all of our materials. Somewhere we'll begin that job. Because I'm envisaging that the next two, three months, we might have about a thousand videos out there. If I go with the way I am going and I'm, and I'm going to be going, you give me two, three years more, we will have so much out there. We will have so much books on the bookstores, so much. That's why I need focus. That's why when I ask you to bless me with resources, it's so that I can focus. So that on whatever area of Christianity you need help, I'll be there. Because what I've been asked to share with the world has to do with power. 
On the day that I was ordained, a minister of the word and sacraments by the Presbyterian Church, I was given a charge. The guy who gave me the charge is already, he's gone back to be with the Lord. He told me, you're going to be a missionary. You're going to do the work of mission. I was ordained in the church where Mary Slazer of Abaddon in Scotland. She came all the way from Scotland to the interior part of Africa and did mission. And I was ordained in the church where her statue with those two, two babies. You know, in the olden days, when a woman in Africa delivers a twin, she had, the, the kids were killed. It was, it was, it was something terrible. They didn't know any better. She came and stopped it. She put a stop to it. This Scottish woman. And I was told to be like her. To do ministry the way she did. She also was a strong politician. And represented the queen. The crown. And the word of God that was used for my ordination service was where, where, Jesus, where, where it was spoken, you shall receive power. <laughs> After the Holy Ghost has come upon you. No Holy Ghost, no power. Administrator put that down for me. No Holy Ghost, no power. More Holy Ghost, more power. I like that. No Holy Ghost, no power. More Holy Ghost, more power. God is asking me to plead with all of you who are going to watch this video or you're watching it live stream on Justin TV tonight. Or you are on the conference call tonight to take up supernatural leadership, financial leadership, social leadership. So let me break it quickly. Let's start with financial. If your family is going to have a name on the earth, if you are ever going to make it as a family, there is somewhere in life that many families out there need to come together to organize their finances. If one person and one family in the entire bigger family want to be the only dog that bite and back, Your family is going to be destroyed in the future. Many families are poor today because there is no powerful family leadership in the area of finance. So everyone are just doing their own little thing. Number two, social. Somebody need to bring the family together socially. It's not when you guys are gathered. Instead of becoming something, everybody is fighting everybody. When families gather to have a meeting, instead of them pursuing what they want to pursue, they are fighting over food and drink. Who did not? Someone asked somebody for a dollar. And somebody said that they didn't have, and somebody become angry. It's incredible. When is your family going to shut its mouth? and keep family secret secret. 
Instead of you see strangers and you are telling strangers what they are not supposed to know about your family. When are you going to have strong, structured family? And when are you going to have united front? I want you to tell us without revealing detail. How is your family like? Your father's side, your mother's side. And what are the changes you want to see? Don't reveal too much. Just tell us, if possible, just tell us what you will want to see in your family. And that you are willing. Tell us how you are willing to become a leader in your family. I'm listening. What are the things you are willing to do that will make your family famous and rich? Just jump into any of these questions. Let's do it quickly and go on. Anybody can speak up. You, you all know how your family is. Let me begin with, uh, with S in Montreal. Can you help us? G in Montreal. Let's begin with S in Austin, or C in Hawaii. Let's begin with G, administrator. Let's begin with the two Marias, the Rebecca's, Southern Sudan people. Let's begin with those who are calling in from the UK and from other parts of Europe and, and uh, Asia tonight. But the you guys are there. Let's begin with Sabrina, Angel, Dana, many of you out there. Mr. Mas, the Kishon, the Amandas. Are you happy about your family? Please speak up. Please, please, please speak up. I know that what I'm saying tonight is too heavy for you because where you've seen your family is not where you want your family to go. So, I don't know. I do not know. Thank you. 
is is somebody driving is, is somebody driving please mute the phone mute the phone if you are driving or if you are moving about mute the phone all right uh, somebody who has that echo phone turn it off for the meantime turn it turn, turn mute it for the meantime for us please okay continue um,
You know the meaning of that. I hope you know the meaning of that. I hope you understand that when you see a father or a mom in that kind of mindset who abandons the kids and abandons his own personal responsibility and is raising up his brothers, his sister's kids helping his uncles, building houses for everybody. You know from the word go that he is the one that has been sacrificed for the rest of them. At any time yeah. that at any time that he fails to do what they want him to do, they will either kill him or they will come after his own children and kill them. They will never allow him to marry. If he gets into any marriage, that marriage will just they will wait to see kids come out and then they will destroy that marriage so that they can have him back. Yep. So, so one person in your family, which possibly is you, need to intervene in that aspect. I'll be, I'll be willing to help you in that aspect because your father doesn't even know himself. Most men and most women who have been sold into this kind of bondage do not know who they are. They think that they understand what's going on, but actually they do not. Because there will always be an uncle, a nephew, a cousin, or an aunt, an auntie that lives inside your father. There is always, if if not if not one person from the family is monitoring and controlling your father supernaturally. Then they have gone to a witch doctor to get a demon to live inside your father and be speaking into him and monitoring him and using him for their own advantage. So that at the end of the day, your father will not be able to do one thing for himself or for his own children. That's how this thing goes. I saw it happen to my own father and I didn't understand it then. It's nowadays that I understand it. Is nowadays I understand what was happening to my own father and to my own mother. And if it is what is happening in your own family, your brothers, your sisters, your, 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 your small family from the same mother and father, they are not interested in raising each other up or raising their own children, but raising the, the other ones. The extended family, you know that somebody has sold somebody. Somebody has given somebody. It is a very tricky combination of mastery that you have to know. If you don't know it, you fall into that trap. 
and they will make you feel so important. That is what a lot of you immigrants are suffering in Europe and ev everywhere else that you are. Immigrant community, they are some of the most vulnerable people to this kind of trap. All the money you've been making in America, in Canada, in Europe, you send it to people who are not even worthy of it. I'm telling you, people who don't, who don't like you in the first place, but want your money and your material resources. If they have the opportunity, they'll kill you. Maria, do you understand it now, what is going on? Good. Your father is not himself. He need to be. Yeah, he, he need. He need to be turned around. And not only that, many a time they will put you in the way of immorality. There are many people who are immoral, who are fornicators and adulterers and worshippers of idols, not because they really want it, but because they've been they've been made to be that way, so that they will not be of any use to themselves and to their own small family but will be of use to somebody else. They've made a slave. So you see, the man is never satisfied with the one woman, or the woman is never satisfied with one man. It's always looking, for, always searching for something, always, they never know what they are searching for. They will never be stable on a job, they can never, they try to go to college, they cannot go to university, nothing. They just make them work, work, work. And they don't see what they are working for anyway. Maria, thank you B, for, for letting us know about that. But you have to stand up in the family to do something about it next. Because many a times, when you don't do what they say you should do, by the time you know it, your marriage collapses. By the time you know it, your business collapse and you don't know why because somebody is not happy with you in your immediate family my people say that except the witch in the family give you up the witch outside the family will never will never come to deal with you it is the one in the family that must first hand you over must sell you into slavery to them outside that's how this thing plays out somebody within the family has sold somebody that's what it's all about. There are things that when I sit back, I ask myself, why were this happening in my life? And, and I can't even tell. I can't even tell. Who again has something to, 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 to say tonight before we, we begin to pray for God? To release our families from this chaotic thing and God to raise up new leaders in families tonight. That's what we are going to pray. If there is somebody who want to add something more tonight, then please quickly add, share with us. If not, we are going to begin to pray for God to raise new leadership in our families. Can I have a question? Yes. going to happen is that God will have to break to break what has scattered everybody sometimes somebody will take the entire family both men and women and marry them to demons yeah. marry them I'm talking about marrying Doris are you on the line tonight please okay she's not on the line I'm, I will try and find out what's happening with her. sometimes somebody has sold Everyone in the family. Oh, Doris. Okay, you are there. Yeah. Okay. Because my. That, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes they will useless everybody, so that they don't even think about. Yeah. Yep. 
and and sometimes you just see they are just satisfied they just being that way as far as they have a roof over their head and have food to eat they will start depending on you who live in overseas to come and be giving them everything they refuse to work and so on and you think this is this is this is sometimes it's not really i mean there are people who are lazy but a lot of time somebody has sold all the, all of them everyone in the family to poverty somebody has sold them all to disease and sickness somebody has sold them all to become crazy people and they are all crazy in the head you look at you look at the uh, daniel daniel is 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 suffering from uh, schizophrenia this one is suffering from 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 madness this one is suffering from deaf and dumb this one is suffering somebody has destroyed everybody so that he alone or she alone could be in charge you always see one person who is in charge of everything while everything is going wrong that person is prospering in your family you will find one person who is building more houses starting new businesses his, his own kid or her own kid are doing very well while the rest of his brothers and sisters are all mad people they don't know themselves all they do is in the evening they go to that one person and the person feed them and that's it and whenever they will ask that person to give one person in witchcraft he will take one of the one of one of the people one of his brother or sister who is already mad enough and give to them and they take this one and they will kill that one every three years or five years somebody dies Oh no, that's not fair. There are a lot of families you go to, everybody is crazy. They are all insane. They are suffering from neuropsychiatric difficulties. They have mental problems. Everyone is crazy. Somebody has sold everybody. And in return, they give that person some small wealth and some, some money and power. And then the person is in charge of all of you. That is not fair. That is not fair. Sometimes one person will drive everybody away from the family so that everybody is scattered. And you will always see one man or one woman remain to be in charge of everything. Land, property, fruit trees, the cocoa farm, the, the, the coffee farm, everything be left for that one person and then that one person will begin to breed his own children and his children will take charge of everything by the time the rest of you come back you are a stranger to your own property yeah. you see these are things